Welcome to What's in Your Cupboard, a show where I show you how to cook quick and easy meals using non-perishables in your pantry. I'm Ellen and I've seen your comments and pictures of what's in your cupboard, so I'm here to show you three amazing dishes that you can cook at home for the day. And the main ingredient of the day is... I noticed that during the circuit breaker period, home cooks on the Facebook community has been very creative with their frozen pratas. Did you know that you can turn this into something like pizza? I'm sure you guys are excited to see what I have here for you today. So let's get started with the first dish. Prata with chicken curry is a beloved Singaporean breakfast and today, we're going to combine both of them into one dish, the curry puff. The curry puff is also a popular snack here in Singapore, so really, we are combining three dishes into one. Let's begin with the first step that is to make the filling. Add the cooking oil to the pan and add your garlic. Stir fry until fragrant, then add your onions and cook until it's transparent. Add the chicken and stir fry until the meat is cooked. You can tell that it is cooked when it has turned white. Add the potatoes, curry powder, salt and water. Mix well and let it cook on medium heat until it is soft and the liquid has reduced. The filling is done. Let's move on to make our curry puffs. Before you fill your curry puffs, remember to preheat your oven to 200 degrees. Now, let's make our curry puffs. Let your pratas defrost for a while until they are slightly soft and add a tablespoon of filling. Fold the prata over and seal the sides by pressing it down. Now pleat the edges. My curry puffs are done. I'm going to put them in the oven to bake for 20 minutes or until it's golden brown. The whole room smells like chicken curry and prata. It smells so good. I am hungry, so I'm going to take a bite now. The crunch is so distinct. It's like puff pastry but not really because I can still taste that it's prata. And I think the best thing about making your own curry puffs at home is that you can really pack it full so that there is filling in every bite. This is so good, you guys need to try it at home. Now, let's move on to lunch. During the circuit breaker period, one of the top frozen prata dishes is the prata yutiao. Yutiao or the Chinese donut is one of my favourite dishes, so I'm really excited to show you this recipe. And to make it a complete meal, I'm also going to be showing you how to make the century egg porridge. Let's begin with the first step. Add your rice and water and bring it to a boil. Add the chicken, salt and pepper. Bring the heat down to a simmer and let it cook for 30 minutes. Remove the chicken breast and shred it. Once you're done shredding your chicken breast, add them back to the porridge. Add your ginger and sesame oil. Mix it up and let it cook for 1 to 2 minutes, then turn off the heat. The porridge is done, so now let's go and make our yutels. First, we'll stack the two pieces of prata together. Cut your prata into 6 slices. To create the classic yutel shape, use a chopstick to press down the middle of the strips. Remember to do it on both sides. This is done, so now we're going to fry our yutels. Serve hot with soy sauce, century egg and spring onions. 
Wow, the new tail looks just like the real thing and the porridge here is calling my name. So I'm not going to wait any longer and give it a taste. The yu tail is so crispy, light and airy inside. And the porridge, it is savoury and fragrant with the smell of sesame oil. I wish you guys at home were here to try it with me. Now, let's move on to dinner. Do you ever get random pizza cravings? Because I do. And pizza delivery sometimes can take too long and all you want is a hot piping pizza in front of you. So, if you have frozen prata at home, you can make one for yourself right here and now. Let me show you how. For the pizza base, just stack two pratas together. Start with the cheese first. Add the ham, mushrooms, tomatoes, then top it off with more mozzarella cheese. You can use any toppings that you like or whatever that's in your cupboard. My pizzas are done. I'm going to put them to bake for 20 minutes in a preheated oven at 200 degrees. These pizzas do not look like they're made from frozen prata. Let's see if they taste like the real deal. The crust is cooked to perfection and it is just the right amount of thickness. It's so cheesy and everything goes so well together. I think the Prata Pizza is a stroke of genius because now you can customise it to whatever you want. You need to try this at home guys. So these are our three dishes that we have for frozen Prata. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, like it and leave a comment down below which is your favourite. And don't forget to subscribe to Chef with Singapore for more awesome content and click that notification bell so that you'll be notified every time we have a new video. Until then, keep indoors, keep cooking, and keep safe. See you guys next time. Bye!